Okay, today I will address, address the issue of abortion as the number one pro-life issue. It is the number one pro-life issue because that is where life begins. This is really quite common sense if you think about it. If you're not even willing to allow people to come into the world in the first place, then uh, it's game over. I mean, how can you even talk about how we treat people after they get here? If you're not even interested in allowing them to get here in the first place. I mean, I even hear from Christians. Well, you're a one-issue candidate, a uh, one-issue voter, because you're so interested in being anti-abortion. Yeah, I'm anti-abortion because that's where life begins. I mean, we're going to kill children in the womb, then the human race is finished. There won't be any discussion about anything else, about separating people from their children and all the other issues that people want to raise. Taking care of children's daycare and uh, schools and school choice and safe neighborhoods. You can go down the list. Go on. Go on down the list. Death penalty. Yeah, I'm actually against the death penalty. I feel like my pro-life position is consistent because I'm just against killing unless it's in self-defense. If it's not self-defense, it's pretty much murder. If you're not defending the life of some other innocent person like a policeman or military do, that's murder. So now if I have a very dangerous criminal on my hands, he makes a false move. I, I, I feel like I do have a right to kill that person if I'm a police officer, so I'm, 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 I'm okay with police officers having a, a little bit of a trigger finger, happy trigger finger a little bit with some of these rough characters out here they're dealing with. So don't get it twisted. I'm all for our law enforcement, military, yeah, we need to be aggressive on those, those ends of the, of the issue. But as far as that little baby in that womb, you cannot kill that baby unless you uh, want to be called a murderer. And that's, I, I, I think that really the doctors are even more to blame than the women. They take a Hippocratic oath, as that should be a hypocritical oath, if you go on and kill a child, because the Hippocratic oath says you're supposed to preserve life. You're supposed to do whatever you can to enhance life. And here you are calling yourself a doctor and you're killing an unborn child. You're just a, 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 hor a horrific murderer. That's all you are. Now, the people who have committed horrible crimes, they deserve to die. They actually deserve the death penalty. If you go out here and kill somebody, I think if you rape somebody, kidnap a child, there are a lot of, if you look at the Old Testament, there were a lot of things that were deserving of death. Definitely uh, murder, rape, incest, kidnapping. Those things right there for sure, uh, uh, you should be, you know, at least life in prison without parole, without parole, without the possibility of parole. You probably need to have a 50-pound weight attached to your leg so that if there's an earthquake or something and the facilities crumble and you're able to manage to get out, you got a 50-pound leg. I mean, I feel like we need to go back to those, some of those kind of things. When you're dealing with people that are convicted of very heinous crimes, they... They need to be disabled or something. Anyway, let me not get too crazy on here. But number one pro-life issue is anti-abortion for very common sense, logical reasons. If you're willing to kill an unborn child, then civilization is doomed. I mean, human race is it's all over. And, you know, there really isn't a whole lot of excuses you can make for abortion. I mean, people always want to bring up rape, incest, life of the mother, life of the child. Okay, we could talk about each one of those. I think, you you know, you have some validity there to consider abortion in some of those rare instances. It's something that we need to discuss maybe in detail. But in principle... You should be against killing unborn child. If you have any kind of Christianity, uh, human, even the humanist common decency, uh, don't be a hypocrite. You got to come here 
and live? Why do you want to say that somebody else doesn't deserve to come here and live? If you're pro-choice, then uh, your very life is now an hypocrisy. You're saying that you you didn't really have a right to be here, which is false. We all have once once that egg is fertilized, you have a right to life. Period. Now, some women may be in a very difficult situation, and we should empathize with them. But if they kill their children, that's murder. Even in these cases of rape, that child is innocent. That's a very difficult situation to be in. Some some situations, there's no in between. If you carry that child to term, you're a hero. After you've been raped, if you kill the child, you're a murderer. I mean, that's just that's. I mean, there's some things in life that are very difficult. If your if your life uh, is being threatened by the pregnancy, man, my heart goes out to you. And if you and if you die giving birth, you're a hero. You're a heroic woman. If you kill that child, then you're a murderer. There's no in between. Some things in life, there's no in between. You're either a hero or a villain. I'm sorry. It's just, I didn't make it that way. That's probably some having to do with sin, the sin of this world. But anyway, God bless you. Let me know what you think. Thank you.